Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. This is going to be the start of what will become some very short and um, hopefully educational videos that I'm going to be putting up on the regular, um, most likely to, to, to drop on Saturdays. Maybe Fridays, most likely Saturdays. Um, so I was sitting around the house today and I was talking to my son who's 14, 15, and um, I said, hey Nate, here's what I need. I need some videos that are educational, that are easy to, to edit and produce and can get me a second video uh, up every week uh, so I can help grow Precision Rifle Network. And he's like, um, what about teaching the math like that goes into all the drop data stuff? And of course I cringed hard at that because I suck at math. But then I remembered, if you guys are not tracking with Sniper's Hide already, if you shoot Precision Rifle in any way, shape or form, and you are not uh, subscribed over here at Sniper's Hide, you are doing it all wrong. There is so much great data over here. Um, what I wanna bring up for you here is this kind of living document put together by um, this user, Jack Master. Uh, I believe this guy is out of Iowa. At any rate, he loves math. He loves all these kinds of things. And what he's put together here is a collection of data book sheets um, come up with these dope charts and windrows, corrected windroses and, and things like this that are super helpful that I thought it would be interesting, you know, just to key you guys in on. Um, you know, take for example, this windrows um, right here. Uh, you know, what's really kind of cool about this is right here in the center, you've got your shot direction. I always just point my Kestrel, the back of my Kestrel in the direction that I'm shooting and and hope that my hope that my compass is on and then i'll figure out just based on my environmentals what the wind is doing let's say it's a, a five miles an hour wind um and then i will figure out the clock direction so if my shot is in the 12 o'clock direction um and my wind is a 10 mile an hour wind from the the two o'clock so I take, I go straight up the direction that I'm shooting to the 10 mile an hour. Then I come across to my two o'clock direction and I wanna treat that wind as if it's a nine mile an hour wind instead of a 10. Does that make sense? And uh, this is a super quick and simple thing that Jack came up with um, to help get corrected wind factors. And you can see the different degrees down in here in tiny print and the percentage as well. So if you actually wanna crunch the numbers and figure out what he's talking about, it, it's really, really helpful. Um, I, have, I have used this thing pretty much just kind of, it's become second nature in my mind right now and it's, it's very helpful. So that's one thing. Um, and then let's see, there's, uh, as we scroll down, you know, he's got, active documents that you can fill out your own dope uh, drop data cards or whatever for um, specific density altitudes and, and plug in all the numbers and just print them out. Um, super, super helpful. So um, I will leave a link to this page specifically um, down in the description below the video and you guys can check it out. There's just so much here and uh, you know, the math all lines up and uh, you know, it's just really, really good information. So hopefully appreciate that quick little, you know, four minute, something like that video, guys. Um, no shooting involved, uh, just really cool math. And if you like to have stuff kind of given to you on a silver platter um, and made it easy for you, uh, Jack Master has done that as far as drop data and math is concerned. There's all kinds of stuff here on this page and I've found it very useful, thought I would pass it on. Guys, take a minute to smash that subscribe button, please. Share the videos for me and come back often, usually Thursdays at three, and now it's probably gonna be Saturdays in the afternoon as well for videos every single week here on Precision Rifle Network. Thanks. Thank you.